Hi, my name is Cristian Sida Valenzuela. I'm the festival director. A great festival just finished, 11 days of great Latin American cinema. I just want to share some of the images and videos that we have created for you during this nine annual festival. Bueno, buenas noches a todas y a todos. Bonsoir a todos. Eh, bienvenidos a todos y welcome all to the 9 a.m. Vancouver Latin American Film Festival. First of all, I'd like to thank my waters at the office, Lisa Perlman, Nina Sanat, and Mary Mullen, and Andrés Salas for working endless hours with the Latin Community Festival. Each film that our community partners are going to co present, so I will be emailing uh, packages to them. So my name is Lina Sarate and um, I am the media relations of the Vancouver Latin American Film Festival. Um, I do their, their newspaper. I also, on the other side, I also do the media relations. My name is Lisa Perlman. My title, I guess, is the Administration and Development Coordinator right now. Hey. It's really rewarding. You meet a lot of interesting people. Think I added to it? Okay. I, mm -hmm. I, most of the time, really like working with Latin people. This office, anyways, is generally very fun. It gets a little bit loud sometimes. So what I dream I had last night, where when I dreamt that I was in Buenos Aires, that I lived in a beautiful house in La Plata, my, my bedroom had a pink image of Ernesto El Che Guevara, and that I look at a Muppet show through a window. That's what they dream I had last night. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, you may all dream about the same. Hey, my name is Andres Salas. Uh, we are in the projection room. Right now, we are watching uh, El Hombre de Lao, The Man Next Door. We are on the minute 40, uh, second 45, 45 seconds right now. And uh, so far, so good. It was uh, understanding, it, as I said, it was a very organic production, very uh, harmonious and smooth. Uh, and uh, as he says, uh, it was also, uh, they were all reflecting themselves through the characters and the story of the characters, so it became um, very personal at a personal level. I believe that uh, the impunity uh, for this type of cases comes from uh, the alliance between uh, the church and the government, uh, even though Mexico is uh, considered a like state. Uh, just before Carnival, that the, the boss, how can I say, the big drug dealer, uh, was killed and, uh, and there was a big discussion that day if we should or not cancel uh, the shooting that day and then I made the decision to cancel the, the shooting. <laughs> El fenómeno uh, mediático, para mí, uh, mi primer punto de vista, incluso la película que yo tenía pensada era mucho más uh, mediático que lo que vemos ahora. El primer montaje era demasiado largo, ¿no? demasiado denso. So his vision had always been to focus on the media, on the media aspect, and um, the humane aspect that came out into the story was something that emerged later on. Mm -hmm. And the first, the, the beginning of the film is very much, it's very dense, it's uh, because of this.
about people coming into a place from another culture, uh, very often we hear the uh, new place in a very new way because we're so... I'm Caroline Ordonez, I'm the volunteer coordinator. I'm also the board member of this organization. Uh, it's been a crazy and amazing event. We're very excited of what happened. Uh, we had a lot of people trying to get in. <laughs> A uh, lot of emotions. Uh, we're excited to, you know, bring what we have, the Latin Americans, to this event. Pensar qué quiere ahora. Bueno, todo de viaje. Puede que te eche de menos nomás. to all the staff, all the guests and all the amazing volunteers that made this ninth annual festival possible. We hope to see you next year and please make sure to stay tuned to our video blog in our Vancouver Latin American Film Festival website and don't forget 2012 is our 10th anniversary. <laughs>